Your life is about to change. How much Bitcoin do you need to become a millionaire in the very near future? Possibly in this cycle or the next? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you why Bitcoin cannot be defeated by any other asset. It is going to absorb all of the liquidity in the world at some point down the line in the near future. Stay tuned right to the very end of this video so that you get the full perspective because I'm going to show you some extremely powerful profit taking strategies that can make you so much more Bitcoin than you think. And with a limited supply of Bitcoin only being 21 million, well, <laughs> you are going to want to watch this video. All right, guys. Welcome back to the Crypto Bliss Show. Thank you for being here with me today. I'm Kiara Cass. I am rocking out a video here for you today because I have not been doing some videos for you too much lately. As I said, quality over quantity. So Bitcoin to reach 1 billion to this by this date. Now, before you finish watching this video or before you carry on watching this video, you should actually go and watch that video first. Possibly that, possibly that, possibly that. But really, I'll leave them up in the cards above for you. So thank you for being here with me. Truly appreciate you. Down below, using my uh, link down on the top of the description of this video, you can get yourself up to $30,000 deposit bonus. Now let's go and smash some trades out there together. Because I did draw this for you. This is now the four hour. I did draw this for you, uh, kind of showing you that we were reaching a bottom here. I did show it to you on this particular video so if you haven't watched it go watch it because that was a very important video now you can see here that i actually drew that we were doing a head inverse head and shoulders pattern and this would be essentially the neckline here so let's pull that across there so that we get the proper consistency of that neckline right there so that would be the neckline so we're probably going to bust up to there maybe pull back a little bit before we actually break through this horizontal resistance level at the previous all-time high are you ready for what's about to come because literally we are only eight percent away from the all-time high that is very very close and bitcoin can do that in a day obviously you can see that because there to there is 15 percent in a day okay or two days come on don't be fooled now i have so much news to share with you so i'm going to give you a little bit of a story starting off with the first chart this is the gold versus bitcoin monthly chart so one ounce of gold back in 2009 slash when bitcoin was launched you could with one ounce of gold get yourself 131 point seven thousand bitcoin Holy shit. i hope you heard me because in 2023 because i did this chart for you in 2023 already one gold ounce was 0 0.07 bitcoin <laughs> Yes, you heard that right. Okay, so then we see this as a 1.839128x value of erosion of gold value against Bitcoin value. Which asset do you believe is the best now, considering everyone thinks that gold and real estate are the best assets in the world? Well, I'm going to show you and I'm going to prove to you that they are not okay so being all the way up here now i don't have a particular chart on housing well i do so make sure to stay tuned but let's go and click this all i mean you can't even click this down to where we needed to go so i need to zoom out for you just like this look at how mad this entire journey is okay that is what a 1.9 million x erosion looks like on a chart okay because look how mad low we have gone now one of the craziest things i have seen here currently is that i drew this wedge 
falling wedge, which is generally a bullish pattern. Okay, I drew this back then. We've broken that. This this is a monthly chart. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I did this more than a year ago for you, just by the way. Okay, because here I was drawing. I even drew this line over here on these two candles. Okay, so even longer than a year. It's probably twenty-two. Matt, no more than a year ago beginning of 23 okay so now you can see here that this is this is higher than this and this is higher than this so cool we make new highs but we have uh, we have hit resistance one two three four five six seven eight N now coming into our ninth time so maybe we bunch punch up a little bit i doubt it okay but from all the way just shy of 132,000 Bitcoin for one ounce of gold. Today, you can only get, for one ounce of gold, you can get 0 0.035 Bitcoin. That's like 35,000 Satoshis. Not much, right? Okay. Maybe a little, maybe, maybe 350,000 Satoshis. Excuse me. Okay. So, you can see here. Yeah, I was right, 35,000. So you can see here right now that this is the resistance level once again, perfectly aligning with the moving the moving av average on the ribbon, okay? I said that we would, and I did this all the way over here. I said that we would come down, look at my line, come down, bounce on this level, hit back up at support there, at resistance there, break further down, Hit the res and just continue the pattern until we eventually bottom out here and we actually have a mad, mad, mad rally down in Bitcoin. I mean, in gold. And I think gold could just e completely erode against Bitcoin. What do you think down in the comments below? Let me know your thoughts, please. Now, bearing that in mind, okay, the other Bitcoin charts that I'm going to show you, because this is the profit taking strategy that I want to share with you. I'm building a story. I'm building a case for you because like I said, I want to do quality videos over quantity videos. And this is a super quality video. So share some love. Let's move on. With a cryptocurrency market cap only sitting at a small $2.5 trillion, wait till I show you what I'm about to show you in this video. Okay. And Bitcoin making up for more than 50% of that at the moment at about 1.345 trillion dollars mad epic gains okay hence point dominance okay is all the way up here at like 56 percent. so it's 56 percent. that's what it is all righty guess what i did say that we could be coming here however the case for me that money and liquidity are about to flood this market is going to be absolutely life-changing for you now hence this now i just want to point out like two three four things here very 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 quickly okay number one we have a resistance level here okay that we have hit once twice three times and just like i showed you now in the gold chart with the same thing the same scenario the same scenario could be happening here because this too is a wedge massive wedge pattern over the over like seven eight nine years already okay which tells me over here at this point the green line that we found some support we're above the ribbon when were we above the ribbon okay so that's point number two okay point number three is we're on the horizontal now the last of my points and you can see that i put this as a short okay to, to, to take profits down here because we are creating higher lows and lower highs and we're getting to a squeeze out point here now with the etfs the bitcoin and ethereum and potentially other etfs coming and launching this market is about to get the craziest liquidity on the planet like i have previously described to you the total market cap for all of these 8959 companies across the world is about 107 trillion dollars in assets gold being 16 trillion apple 3.3 trillion microsoft 3.1 trillion nvidia 2.8 trillion oh, uh, google 2 trillion amazon 1.9 trillion saudi 1.8 silver 1.6 and bitcoin 1.35 meta 1.2 so 
as you can see here right now, Bitcoin is now back in the ninth position, chewing on the ankles of silver, and it will surpass silver very quickly. And I would say by the end of this year, it'll probably and very likely pass Saudi Aramco and Amazon and possibly even Google to come underneath Nvidia. That means another trillion dollars to potentially come into this market cap to kind of sit in fifth place under Nvidia. Now, why do I say that? Well, Bitcoin's only 1.3, so a little extra in it. Taking us double this would give us like $125,000 price for Bitcoin. So now that I'm building up my story with you, okay? The fourth thing, and something very important to watch out for here, is that so much liquidity could come into Bitcoin to the extent that this massive W pattern, might I say, which Bitcoin loves, which is the neckline here, okay, could essentially tell us that if we were to break this level here and find some push through, we would push up to the 72% dominance in the crypto market cap for sure. Okay. Now, if we were to reach that level, yes, there'll be a strong pullback. Okay. Maybe then a pullback all the way down to there. I don't know. None of us can predict the future. But what I can say is that every time we did hit this level, we did have the major pull down, the major pull down, and we have not yet had the major pull down. So it's obvious that the patterns are there. However, it does not mean that Bitcoin dominance with the inflow of ETFs and the liquidity that is about to come into Bitcoin and other cryptos, okay, is possible. It could push this right through the ceiling, bounce, retest, and then hit that level up there. I don't know, you don't know, none of us know, we can't predict the future, but I'm going to show you what my conviction is and most people's conviction that are in Bitcoin. If you're in Bitcoin, make some noise on the channel because this chart that I'm about, that I'm going to share with you in a little bit is going to determine whether you need to own one Bitcoin or less Bitcoin. If you want to know more about that, go check this video out. I said how much you need to go and have right there. Okay, so I'm bringing consistent videos to you because of the exact reason that we could, if this Bitcoin dominance hits here, hits resistance and starts to fall back down to this major green horizontal support level of 45%, that could give altcoins a crazy opportunity to potentially pump that's a 25% depreciation of Bitcoin against total or all of the um, other crypto assets, okay? Which means that other cryptos could pump, like pump, okay? And I say that because with a drop from there to there of like 42%, we saw some of the craziest gains back in 2017. Let's move on from here. Now, with the total crypto asset market cap looking like this, these are just companies and assets, okay? Total assets by market cap. This is including all public companies, precious metals, cryptocurrencies, and ETFs. This is not including the Federal Reserve's balance sheet, the debt, the housing markets, the any of that stuff. It's not including any of that. And you want to get shocked? We have supporter. You want to be shocked with what I'm about to show you? Stay tuned. Okay. So first of all, distribution of real assets. This is from 2022 in terms of percentage. Real estate makes up for about 68%, 35% being land. Okay. Meaning that most of the land in the world is registered but has not been possibly sold or been used dwellings only makes up for 21 percent. so imagine all the people in the world that have homes okay to live in that makes up for 21 percent of the world let alone 35 percent of the land across the world by the way is still vac uh, is still open for infrastructure to build to house humans and the growing world population now, the reason I'm saying this to you, 
And the reason I'm speaking to you is because people like BG and a number of others, okay, Elon Musk actually says, well, there's not enough people in the world, okay, which I actually do agree with. But the problem with the world is, is that all of these cities, everyone's around the cities and in the cities, like Johannesburg is the largest man-made city in the whole freaking world. I live in that city. It's huge, okay? It's massive. You need freaking passports to travel from one side of the, the city to the other side, okay? That's far, man. Okay, and that's why in Joburg, you would need a vehicle as an example. But it is so congested that we're exi ex existentially looking at how Johannesburg will eventually meet Pretoria, which is like 60 kilometers out. Imagine a city being like 120 kilometers in circumference. That's that's bloody ludicrous, man. So I just want to say something to you. That still uh, counts for about 21% of the world's essential facilities. Now look at the amount of assets, okay, in global distribution. Now I'm going to show you something. Now the reason I'm showing you this first is because even though 68% is the number of real estate in the world, that is why real estate is still a very, 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 very good asset to hold because it, of the things that I'll show you. However, it is not the best to hold. Bitcoin is the best and real estate is second. Okay. Has become second in the last decade, 12 years. Okay. So you can see here that all the other is non-residential buildings, which makes up for about 11% of the market, okay? Which means that that's like businesses and warehouses and distribution, factories, all kinds of things like that. Mineral and energy reserves, okay? Non-produced excluding land. Look at that, guys. I don't even think you actually comprehend what it is that I'm saying to you here. If you do, make some noise. Inventories in the world, only 8%, 8%. We're talking about inventories of food and clothing and materials to build home and all of these kinds of things. Machinery and equipment, infrastructure, IP products that are intangible is only 4% of the world. In other words, the technology in the world, okay. assets of financial institutions worldwide from 2002 to 20. Two, okay, has only but increased. It's gone from 127.8 trillion to 461 trillion. Okay, trillion, trillion. And I'm pretty confident that I just showed you, and at the peak here was 486 trillion. I'm pretty confident that I've just showed you that this was 107 trillion. Okay, so now you can see that the value that I'm bringing to you here is about to blow your mind away. Now, in order to make more Bitcoin, you need to do something that I'm going to show you later on in this video for profit taking strategy from all of your altcoins. Now, altcoins from Ethereum, okay, all of these altcoins. Remember, I've showed you this tremendously on how all of the altcoins in the space, you can see here, total three assets how all of this actually is getting ready to burst up and blow up into the possibly four to eight trillion dollar level. We could see a 10 and I reckon the 12 to 15 trillion dollar market cap in cryptocurrency. Okay. Cryptocurrency just this year. Now I just, uh, sorry, in the cycle. Now I just told you that it's a 2.5. Okay, which means that there's still possibly a potential of like a five, six, seven X in this market, right? A bit of a measurement from here to there. Okay, that was a 2000%, which is a 200X in the market. 200X or 20X? 20X. 20X in the market. So what happens if we were to do a 20X in this market? Okay, 2000%. I just wanna show you 2000% in this market. And I said to you that I think we could do much more than 2000% in this market. So there is the 1,900, which takes us to a $13 trillion market pack, cap. That's including Ethereum. That's in this bull cycle, possibly. 
Let me know your thoughts. And that is in total three, which is all of the altcoins only. Excuse me, not including Ethereum. All of the altcoins only. So Ethereum could be at like a three to four. I mean, Ethereum could be at a three trillion dollar market cap. And Bitcoin could then possibly be at like, a, as I said, like six to seven trillion dollar market cap, possibly. Well, my friends of the channel, I'd like to say to you that with my target of between 12 to 15, maybe 15 to 20 at the very, very high blow off top scenario in this cycle, we could see crypto hit those levels. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. As I've this, shown you here, you can see here, ETF cryptos, so cool. Look how many crypto assets there are in comparison to companies. And this is all just in the last few years, right? Pretty darn freaking epic in so many wonderful ways. Now, this is where the fun starts to happen, okay? Because a long time ago, I think last year, one square will equal 100 billion, okay? And this will be the context on each category that can be found here. Peak net worth. March 22, 26 billion. Today, 1 billion. Sam Bankman free. Okay. His now net worth is worth, I mean, he's probably worth a lot less than that because he's in jail. Good for him. Sports teams. What are they worth? 340 billion. So 340 billion. NFL, 42%. NBA, 25%. MLB, NHL. I mean, this isn't even freaking including any of the europa league this isn't including any of the psls the the uh, british premier league any of that freaking stuff okay this is crazy i hope you are just really yeah cryptocurrency cool when we did this video i mean when this was out 2.82 trillion okay so cool we're about 2.82 trillion Boom, 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 boom. That's 2.82 trillion. Look at this. All the others, okay. Ethereum, Tether, Binance, USD coin. All the others make up only for like 14% of the total crypto market cap. So the things I'm going to show you are going to just continue to blow your mind out the water here. Russia and Ukraine. Russia's GDP is about 1.8 trillion. And Ukraine is about 0.2 trillion. I wonder Russia is obliterating Ukraine because they can. Okay. Money speaks for everything on this planet. Okay. Military spending in the US is bigger than the entire Russian U uh, economy. China, everybody, <laughs> woo! Currencies, even worse than all the rest. Okay. So, currencies here, coins and banknotes. Is worth about eight trillion okay and that's just the fake paper money the fake coins the fake bullshit that they have given us gold massive 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 below ground reserves okay 11.5 trillion this is using a 1750 ounce it's probably about another 200 300 dollars above that at the moment reserves are estimated underground to be about 205 238 tons left of gold mad now all the billionaires in the world because of the money printing i'm going to show you where the money printing comes in there are 2668 maybe more now at this moment okay they're all worth about 12.7 trillion dollars together well, in this cycle, this pool cycle, I believe we could possibly see our first public trillionaires. Not to say that there aren't trillionaires behind the public already, because they certainly are. But in public's eyes, one of these could become the first trillionaires of the future. And I have no doubt that it's going to be a very strong competition between Musk and Bezos, truthfully said. Central bank balance sheets have gone from $5 trillion prior 2010 to $28 trillion, US being the biggest and the, U the EU being the next biggest. No wonder two currencies are almost one to one. Okay. People's Bank of China, Bank of Japan, the S&P 500, 
Apple used to be the biggest, okay? Um, the S&P 500 is worth 36 trillion. Now this was back then, of course, and the top 10 companies. Look at the top 10 companies from back here when this was done. Visa, I'd love to go and see where Visa is now on this. Visa is no way to be seen. Visa's down here at 21, all right? Johnson & Johnson, I mean, look at all these. These are all, these ones and Alphabet have all fallen down. Okay, epic, right? Epic to see what's... <laughs> Very different what it looks like today. US versus China GDP. The US debt, debt is worth 23 trillion. Well, I have some news for you folks. That was in 2021, by the way. Today in 2024, the US national debt is sitting at 35 trillion dollars okay that was only three years ago that this has been accounted for so that's 12 trillion dollars that have been pumped into the market oh sorry this is gdp us yeah uh, gdp 28 and a half trillion that's five and a half trillion been pumped into the market so there's my five and a half trillion increase in the us gdp over the last for three years three years that's more than like 1.25 trillion dollars into the market every year where the fuck is this money coming from okay all right excuse me for my french there all right the chinese 17.7 trillion global money supply is worth 48.9 trillion now that's 2021 the M2 money supply, I keep telling you guys about the M2 money supply, right? I don't have the chart open. The M2 money supply is just going, 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 going. It's never going to stop. The global stock markets, you can see here, increasing global debt. Now, guys, remember that each block is a billion. So global debt is worth 300 trillion back then. Governments, okay, are worth 22. Ballooning debt. Financial sector, 10%. Households, 14%. Global real estate is worth $326 trillion. Mad. Okay. Look at this. I mean, look at this thing. Global real estate. Look at global real estate. Now, I just want to show you something because I'm actually going to, I'm, I actually want to go back up to the, the top of the chart here because I'm going to get to a point here in a moment because cryptocurrency is currently at this tiny little two and a half trillion dollar space and we're talking about the global real estate being at about 326 trillion freaking dollars i don't even think i'm going to be able to get that on the calculator for you agricultural being 35 trillion okay commercial 33 trillion global wealth is worth 463 trillion and that's damn sure increased over the last three years undoubtedly so america being 34 percent of that total um europe being about 23 percent of that total china about 18 percent asia pacific about 17 percent india about three percent latin america about two percent and africa only about 1.3 percent and i've been telling you that africa is the light of the future in this world okay and i can only tell you that by living here by showing you what is actually happening on this continent all right derivatives are worth 12.4 trillion so in other words beautiful bitcoin that i'm trading here is worth 12.4 trillion so our little tiny teensy little ten dollar five dollar trades don't do shit to the market but they make you money and that's how you take money out of the market okay because they continue to print so by just taking and doing small leverages and bets against the market in the right direction, buying here, selling here, you make money. Why wouldn't you want to make money? Use my Barbit link and Bitflex links down below. $128,000 worth of bonuses right there for you. Notional value of derivatives is now worth about $600 trillion. My goodness me. Polish camolis. Okay, I'm not even going to go through some of that stuff. Um, just to give you some perspective, on what a 100 billion dollar uh square could fit in Nord Stream pipeline worth 11 billion TikTok's revenue repeated cost of world cup stadiums in qatar 10 billion value of ntf's 
uh, NFTs uh, exchange on OpenSea, 5 billion. Lego revenue, 8 billion. FTX financial hole, 8 billion. Operating budget, awesome taxes, 5 billion. Average NHL, 1 billion. Berkshire Hathaway, 4 billion. Global S, LeBron Jab, blah, 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 blah. I think you get the point. That, okay. Technology is the leading asset in the world. And Bitcoin falls under the premises of a digital asset, which falls into technology. It's energy, okay? It's financial freedom. And it will surpass real estate very, very soon. So, with that being said, look at all of that value there that has to still come in just from those spaces. But that's just something very, very small that I wanted to share with you. Because right now, I wanted to share with you, even though we're at 34 trillion, notice the US GDP and notice the US national debt when I take this clock all the way up to 2028. That's only four years away from now. And of course, this debt clock isn't going to take us any further than that because it's further than ridiculous. Okay. So in the next four years, and I don't know how this is even possible because in the last three years, they printed just over $5 trillion uh into the gdp okay they're saying only three and a half trillion dollars would go in the next four years that's bullshit okay so for me that's an extra 12 trillion dollars in national debt but only three and a half in the to the us gdp taking this up to about 147 percent guys the us economy is is broken it's busted the us dollar is done for it just cannot survive so 16 trillion dollars in market cap I want to share this very, 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 very powerful article with you, okay? Because a number of these assets. Consumer inflation is the cost of basket goods and services measured over time, the CPI. Monetary inflation can be described as the monetary supply in a country. It factors the price changes and assets measuring against inflation. Consumer inflation, monetary inflation. S&P versus S&P and M3 money supply, okay? Look at this. Average annual asset performance versus monetary inflation. So apparently global real estate REITs and the S&P outperform monetary inflation, but bonds, average investor and CPI didn't. Real estate home prices versus disposable income. In the United States, looks like that's about a drop. And in Canada, home prices have soared beyond recovery. Incomes of people are flattened and dead. So they cannot afford to buy homes anymore. The interest rate regimes since the 1926 to 22 is now back into the range bound with falling interest rates um, for like nearly four decades, five decades already. You can see here that Bitcoin is the only asset that is going to help us get through the cycle. Because gold has done nothing. Silver's down. Bonds are down, NASDAQ is a little bit up, and s and up. Sweet, lack of those. But truth be and honesty, if we look at this chart, every single time the global money to M2 supply starts to increase, once again, the Bitcoin price rallies. So, rally, rally, and the M2 money supply is busy starting to go up, and it's going to continue to go up. And we are about to see some crazy stuff because risk versus return, Bitcoin completely outperform everything and will continue to outperform everything. And that's just the case of what that is. Right, which brings just... me to how the price of a typical house in Bitcoin in the orange versus fiat in the blue. So if you own Bitcoin, the price of your house in Bitcoin used to be around 772 Bitcoin for a house. Okay. That was about $320,000 or so. The number of Bitcoin has decreased now. And you can buy a house for an average house of $200,000. No, you can buy uh, a house now with 10 Bitcoin. Okay, so from 700 Bitcoin, 770 Bitcoin to 10 Bitcoin. Versus Fiat used to be $161,000 and is now doubled up to $312,000 in the last decade. So in the last decade since Bitcoin's been around, we have seen massive, massive collapses in the value of houses. Now, 
If you haven't been enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I truly appreciate you, you benevolent blessed soul. 1111 on the clock right here, right now. Let's move on to how I want to take some profit trading strategies, starting off with Ethereum. Um, Ethereum is dying against Bitcoin right now. Okay. Ethereum BTC, as you can see, has these massive spikes up against BTC. Okay. To the point where we busted up all the way there. Okay. Pull down all the way to the bottom. Back up here. Back down here. Boom. And now we're kind of falling. So if we fall further on Ethereum, back down to this area, I would say that that would be a phenomenal accumulation area to buy more Ethereum because we could probably see Ethereum then bounce off of that level and then start to make its way up to the 618 level and beyond, which could possibly essentially give us a 1.2, maybe 1.6x gain against um, Bitcoin. And if it was to reach the top here, about a 2.7x gain against Bitcoin. So if you basically took the equivalent of one Bitcoin and changed it into an Ethereum, Okay, um, all right, Let, I'm just going to do a random sum here. Let's just call it 20, 20 Bitcoin, uh, sorry, 20 Ethereum into one Bitcoin right now, because it is about, yeah, more or less that, okay? So what I would say here is that if you were to do 20 Ethereum into one Bitcoin, okay, uh, buy 20 Ethereum down here to worth, one Bitcoin worth, you would probably make now here one point you would make 2.2 bitcoin and up here you would make 2.7 bitcoin some people think ethereum is going to flip bitcoin not going to happen china's not going to happen that is mad ridiculous because we would have to get all the way up to this green line here and that would be a 200x on bitcoin I doubt that, at least not now, at least not in this cycle, probably not in the next, maybe in like 20, 30 years time. I don't know because of its use case, but that's my personal view. Let me know your thoughts yeah. down below. Is Dogecoin, the first meme coin, shit coin, whatever you want to call it coin. Cool thing about it is this is a higher low than this on the previous high, which was pretty much now caught up to where Bitcoin was coming up to. So potentially looking like it's bottoming out here and creating higher lows here, we could also see that buying Dodge down here, okay, at 200 Satoshis basically, and riding the wave up to here would give us a 2x, up to the peak would give us a 5.4x on your Bitcoin. So if you put one Bitcoin's worth down here into Dodge, up here, your Bitcoin would be 5.4x plus your one Bitcoin, right? pretty darn freaking cool and i'm just going to go to previous all-time highs i'm not even going to go beyond previous all-time highs because what you can see here is that when we did break the previous all-time high we actually went another 4x above that so very possible that you could make 20 bitcoin if you bought one bitcoin's worth of dodge down here and 20 bitcoin to sell somewhere up there but will dodge outperform bitcoin like that i don't know i'm yet to see that and experience it myself Pepe, being one of the next ones, has been outperforming Bitcoin the entire year and has outperformed it at peak. Uh, uh, by 2000, I can't even see that. What is that? By 2,250, no, by 10x, excuse me. Yeah, by 10x, it's... It's outperformed Bitcoin by 10x, okay? And it hasn't even gone further. And right now it's busy building a massive, 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 massive breakout pattern. I need to get this because at the at the all-time high of Pepe, so let's take it from here. If you were to just buy Pepe today, and this thing had to go shoot up all the way to its peak over here, it's listing, you would be able to get 374x bitcoin in other words you would be able to convert if you bought one one bitcoin's worth of pepe today in the near future you could possibly if it hit this all-time high get 374 bitcoin plus your one bitcoin 375 bitcoin okay 
Wow, my personal accumulation target for, for my Bitcoin holdings is definitely 100. Let me know what yours is down in the comments below. Love to know what my what my peeps are doing. Now, this is Cardano. I'm showing you Cardano because Cardano is currently having a buy signal, okay? And I think it's about time that Cardano gets ready to break up. I think the first level that we're gonna see is possibly this level because there's major resistance here. So that's a 2X on your Bitcoin already. So if you bought one Bitcoin, you now get two Bitcoin. Coming up to this peak, 4.6x. So one Bitcoin into 4.6 Bitcoin. This peak up here, 8x. So you see it's worth getting some of these altcoins. None of them are Bitcoin, but my personal profit-taking strategy with these altcoins that I own, with these altcoins that I have been speaking to you about on my channel for months and months and months and months and months and years, okay, all of those profits will be taken into Bitcoin the entire way. I imagine Cardano does something ridiculous, breaks through its all-time high there at a 13x your Bitcoin, just by the way, and possibly does something a little bit higher than that and kind of comes to maybe double that. So that would be like a 22x gain, 25x gain on your Bitcoin with Cardano. Could it hit that? I don't know, because this has been lower high, lower high, but this is also higher low. We have yet to come into our bull cycle. So possibly at the very, I mean, at the very least, we could come and hit this level, which is a 6x, right? One Bitcoin into six Bitcoin. Pretty darn beautiful is all I can say. This one, XRP, is very similar to Cardano. You can see here, 180%, so that's 1.8x, 512%. 1,620% is 16x on your money. Up here, 3,270, okay? And up here would just be absolutely, ridiculously, ludicrously massive, okay? Just gonna see what that would look like. Coming up to that level, like a 54x, a 54x on your money. So, yes, XRP might not be the best coin. Will it outperform Bitcoin like that? I don't know, but it's got a buy signal here. I'm ready, you know, I'm ready at even 5x to start taking some profits on my Bitcoin, uh, on XRP into Bitcoin. I don't think you know what it is that I'm saying here. The next coin is Pond BTC. Now, Pond has completely, and I want to show you the uh, insanity of this particular coin here right now, because with a kind of a peak like that, okay? Higher trends. This is a freaking insane chart, guys. And the reason that is an insane chart is because this is a bullish megaphone chart, okay? So cool, we've broken down here. Cool, maybe we find some support at this, this level here. It's not so far down. But basically, <coughs> Ton coin, I think could literally um, and normally because what we do is you do it at sort of the mouth of the pattern. That is the breakout. I mean, ton coin from where it is could at least 15 X against Bitcoin. Ouch. That is mad. But, uh, Solana BTC Solana's on the weekly and the daily and the three daily all having buys here, getting ready to break out of this major resistance level up to the next level here. So just with Solana you would now make a 40% gain on your BTC. So if you have one BTC, you make 40% more BTC. Okay, that's just here. I'd like to show you that from this level to there, that was a 15X gain, okay? So call it bottom of cycle. So call it, let's get bottom of cycle. Let's get a 15X gain. And bearing in mind that Solana is also about to get an ETF launch, okay? 15X gain would take us somewhere up to here, okay? But I think possibly we could do a lot more than that. And I think possibly at least a 30x gain in Solana against BTC. Meaning that one Solana would be at this point worth 0 0.015 BTC. That's pretty darn impressive, okay, for an altcoin. That's not it there. Link doing the same thing. Look at Link. Link can possibly freaking... 7x against the uh, Bitcoin. Okay. The next one is near. How what could near do from where it is? It can still 4.5x against Bitcoin. 
So the point of this is, is that anything that you own in all of these um, alternative assets, take profits because you don't want to sit in the 90% freaking drawdowns. That's 95% drawdown. You don't want to sit in that. Take profits into Bitcoin. Okay. And then stash your Bitcoin. Stash your Bitcoin away. Let your profits do what it needs to do. I don't think you can actually realize and comprehend right now what the freaking epic, epic, epic is going on here because this is how to make more Bitcoin. So take you all of your gold. Well, you could have taken all your gold and converted into massive amounts of Bitcoin. But now your gold is worth nothing against Bitcoin. So even though it's a $16 trillion market cap, the housing market is going ballistic with it. So many other things are going wild out there. So if you've enjoyed this, check out my trades. My trades, my derivatives trades are in profit except for my ICP. I'm waiting patiently here to look at what these things do because I do believe that they are going to pump. I will increase my derivatives leverage and I'm going to start to get a little bit degen. Once I can see we're coming up to this level pullback here, I will start to add crazy amounts more to my positions here. And I say that I'm going to start to add tens of dollars to hundreds of dollars to these micro trades and the reason i say that is because now's the time you can really start once it breaks through this previous all-time high here let's put a let's put an alert here together okay take that away let's put an alert here together that actually this is the right time to be entering into your derivative space and yes it's dgen but holy shit, why would you not want to get into something that is about to blast through its previous all-time high okay i mean the profits that you could take and i just want to share with you because my personal target is 300,000. okay so i'm going to go up to my 300,000 level and i'm going to say to you if you ride that 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 out to there 343 percent gain with a potential of uh 10 i don't know 20x leverage that's six seven thousand percent gain man mad so if you took i don't know hundred dollars and you got seven thousand percent you're converting that hundred dollars into like 70 grand okay hope you guys have enjoyed this make sure to subscribe to the channel appreciate you all much love and we will see you on the next one you blessed souls take care have a lovely saturday